This week, we wrap the skylights, make homemade sprouted cookies, and take a trip to Garen and Ellie's to see the new baby. Right, Garrett, planning for the skylights? Yeah, I got a little trim work to do. Just drop down a little bit. So, oh, the skylights now, yay! Coming through! Beep, beep! Now that this window's in, we're gonna get cobbin around this window here. And it's actually stucco. We call it oh, cob I'm a lot, sorry. but it's we stucco, yeah. And uh, it'll fit real nicely into these areas. These are the wraps for the skylight. Uh, material for it. When we were in Kentucky last month, we were making some cookies with my niece and that's when we discovered good sprouted flowers at their local store. So when we came back here, I was able to go ahead and order it online. Flour, we've been dying to just make cookies and stuff. Bree is gonna help me make some cookies with it. We're pretty excited to try it. We are gonna be putting our new sprouted flour to work and get, getting it in a recipe. One of our favorite mm -hmm. cookie recipes is a chocolate peppermint drop. We're gonna do something a tiny bit different because we, we were able to find these on sale peppermint chunk things. Shall we get started here? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, put a salt in there. Once we started moving to more nutritional foods, we decided that we weren't going to make sacrifices. When you move to more nutritional food, it's like, oh no, we're gonna, all our food is gonna taste so dry and bland. And once we started to get more nutritional foods, we started to realize how delicious foods are. Our goal became, let's make everything that we truly enjoy, but let's make it with the best ingredients, with nutrients, and vitamins and eat well, but also eat the foods we are normally accustomed to. And cookies are one of those things that we're normally accustomed to. This recipe, as with every recipe, they're always like, whisk these together, then slowly fold in. We did none of those things. Plot twist, it still turns into a cookie. I think we're gonna give this a stir now. Let's see what's stirring. Something is stirring over here for sure. <laughs> a little result of the stirring. You know, you think, oh goodness, cookies, they're not good for you. But what happens if you're using organic butter, raw sugar? Raw sugar has lots of nutrients in it. It's not processed right out of them. If you're using a sprouted flour, that has a lot of nutrients in it. But there is no reason why you can't have foods that are even fun foods like this that aren't filled with some sort of quality that's going into your body, some sort of nutrient. Now, you can argue, and you would be right, that the peppermint inside there has no nutritional value. And that is a true statement. So we're gonna have things in there that aren't perfect, but we're still gonna have a pretty nutritional cookie and I and these are gonna be really good. Well, they probably should not have done them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next challenge is presented in the form of getting these into cookie shapes. They're actually supposed to be drops. So we're gonna do it like kind of like this. Well at least we can brag that there will be peppermint bits in every bite, right? <laughs> I'm thinking, <laughs> thinking I'm might accused of be, a lot of things, we should but like, floppy is not one of like, them. Like, I don't know. I'd be a little more, um. Okay, you'd be a little more, um. I don't know that I can be a little more, um. I won't call you floppy. 
<laughs> That's very, that is nice of you. We got a comment as an idea to switch our dining room with our sitting area. And we thought, well, I love that idea. So we'll flip it and then we can flip it back later. And I have a dream that one day, even the... It is Martin Luther King Day today. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would be fun to listen to his speech. As you can see, the couch is sitting under the TV. That doesn't work too well for us to actually watch it. Good. So we're gonna switch this around. I hope you had a wonderful Martin Luther King Day. A wonderful Dr. Martin Luther King Day. He is a doctor, yes. Like Dr. I Martin Luther very King. accomplished. One of the things I really like about this setup, with that couch being low like that, it sits right below the window. And this table sits below this window. So you get maximum light in. Different, but almost complete now. I love this. Now I'm thinking, can we see? Oh yeah, we can see. Oh yeah. All right, well let's. Yeah. Let's, let's dream. See. Let's see if we can see let's it. Have a dream. Let's have a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King, get up. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Sprouted flower is already broke down. When it sprouts, it takes that complex carb and it makes it into a simple carb. I discovered I had some digestive problems years ago. For people like myself who have a hard time with their digestive system, complex carbs are more difficult for me to digest. That's what the sprouted flour is. It breaks down that complex carb into a simple carb. Especially if you happen to be a type of person who gets tired when they eat carbs, these kinds of foods won't make you tired. That's the benefit of these cookies. So we'll get a great tasting cookie and then we'll get some nutrition in our body and we'll get a little junk in our body too. But you know, there we end up going an extra two minutes once we flopped them again away. Pull these babies out, huh? Now with the sprouted flour that I do myself, that we, when we get the berries and we sprout them and we dry them and we grind them, it's hard to make cookies out of them because you can never get them ground as finely as the professionals do, like what we just ordered that flour will allow us to bake. And that's why it was so exciting to get that sprouted flour. For people who don't have the ability at home to do all the sprouting, this is a good option. This sprouted flour will not be quite as nutritional because they say it's like 72 hours after you grind flour that it has, mm -hmm. that it keeps the, the most of its nutrients. Mm -hmm. But it will still be a healthier flour. Take them over to Garen and Ellie's and see the baby. That's what yeah. we're making these cookies for. One more left, thank you. Is any good? I love it real good. I've been eating them. Yeah. Hence why um, yeah. there's only so one left. Yeah. We had two things working against us. We would have the sprouted flour Plus the fact that these things are really dark brown, so it's like impossible to figure out if they're done or not. <laughs> so we were able to cook them all the way through, and they would have come off amazingly, but the candy kind of. Uh, you think it got might have there. been maybe adding that whole bag? Just a thought. <sighs> no. I don't think so. <laughs> it was just okay. the peppermint fairy that kissed them. That's all. <laughs> all right then. Actually, should I eat the last one? Yeah. I thought you were eating it. I thought it. you ate it. Well, I wanted to. I wait. was already gone. Oh no. Oh, you just want to pick oh. at it. You didn't really want to eat it. Mm -hmm. You didn't want it, the full commitment of the cookie, you just wanted some parts. <laughs> okay. Only the best parts. <laughs> Only the best parts. Just want to say, this is how not to do this. We should have stained all these before we brought them up because it drips down and it's, this is not the way to do it. I quickly got them stained so next time Gary puts them up they'll be pre-stained. It's like a giant butter knife piano tile thing. Nice. <laughs> More staining. Sweet. This is a lot to stain. Last piece. Yay! We 
we've got ourselves the plate of only the best. We're gonna take this over now to Garen and Ellie and little Azalea, and we're gonna check in on them, see how they're doing. That's gonna be fun. Shall we? <laughs> knew she would leave me. <laughs> Well, we are on our way to Garen and Ellie's to deliver cookies and yeah. see the baby. Which we, we can't have to wait see. to see the baby. That's there always fun. Wait. Little changes keep happening to her every time we see her. We see her every few days, usually. Yeah, so. it's gonna be fun. You haven't seen her on video. Oh, seen her in a picture, this but this is your first video reveal. Yep, video reveal, man. Which is really important. Video describes so much. Yeah, really. Pictures are like blah once you see video, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these two, they're sitting here in their easy chairs, rocking, okay, with their cups, you know, like they're two old people or something. The only problem is I have to actually use the lever, like I need one of those. Oh, nice. <laughs> here she is. This is Azalea Jeanette, whole six pounds and eight ounces of pure girly. Tell us about the adventure of the little darling. I can't remember any of it. <laughs> It's a blur? It's a blur. She sleeps good at night. Yeah, she, she slept really good last night. We got like a full, I think we got eight hours. Well, now we have to go to bed at like seven and wake up at like nine to get that eight hours, but I think that's pretty good. We're well on our way though, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Today. Huh? You're not tired, are you? No. Okay. Just checking. Oh, it looks more rested than you. So fun. Yeah. It's kind of like what you thought it would be. I really didn't know what yeah, it was going to be. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. It's shocking to have a kid. It's like, oh my gosh, that's our kid. Yeah. We have a daughter. It's really fun. It's fun to watch her grow. It's hard not to obsess. Like, oh my gosh, you okay? <laughs> She's so healthy. She rolled over today. That is amazing. How old is she now? Seven, Seven days. days. Oh, Seven days. She rolled over. <laughs> Lifts her head up. She's ready to work. <laughs> <laughs> she's tired of laying around. Yeah, she's on time. Like your mama. <laughs> and her dad. I'll lay around. <laughs> <laughs> I got no problem. Oh, that was a big there it was, there it was. <laughs> no, it's not. It. Oh, you just plan to just sit like that for <laughs> a couple months, or what's the plan? Yeah, I mean, we need at least a couple months of, <laughs> you know, doing nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> We're getting her excited to get back to work. Yeah, get back next week. She's gonna get up. I'll strap her to me. She'll help out. <laughs> she actually loves being outside, so. Oh, she does. She, she just basks in the sun. <laughs> so perfect. She just couldn't be more perfect. She's got all her fingers and toes. Babies, I know when I had them, some like to be turned towards your body and some like to be turned out. You know, they're kind of, how social they are, kind of. She's how, an Audi. Okay. She likes to look around. She's Big a people. <laughs> She's curious, a people, people mm. baby, Oh. I told her she was gonna get a double chin earlier and she laughed at me, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with a double chin looking down at me. <laughs> <laughs> So Ellie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm ready to get back to work, but they say to take it easy a little bit longer. So. <laughs> That's how we get it. We did a midwife and a birthing center. Really cool. It was just me and Garen and the midwife and one nurse. It was very peaceful. You as like? far as labor goes. <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah, that's probably what we're that's doing. That's probably what we'll do again. We might okay. do a midwife at home, but we really like that place. So. In the birthing center that we have, we're right inside the hospital. So if anything were to happen, we're already right there. And so it's kind of like, it just takes some of the stress off of labor and stuff. Something there, something happened, but it is a natural process, so. <laughs> They want her to be back at her birth weight by two weeks. We're at a week now, and she's already an ounce over. <laughs> yeah, she's an overachiever. <laughs> yeah. That's our girl. Fat and happy. We love it. Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is mix it up 
If you'd like to get this design on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, baby jumper, all kinds of fun stuff over on our shop, as well as any of the previous designs that we've done in the past, uh, please check out the link down in the description. We have... I'm gonna go get one, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're new with us and new to our uploading schedule, we post a podcast every Monday morning, and that is a wonderful to have on in the background as you're fixing a car or fixing a plane or fixing a boat or fixing a building or building building a building yeah, or, or fixing a door a, handle or making a door or a table or a chair replacing your iPhone screen because you cracked it yeah all of these wonderful yeah. tasks could be a lot more fun with the my little podcast playing in the background we'd love to hang out with you on Wednesdays we have our recaps which are short segments pulled out of our weekly peaks they're full subjects they're great for if you only have time to catch one subject with us those come out on Wednesday mornings and then of course Friday nights is our Friday night variety show we really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday Monday. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Now, if Gary was making these, each one would be perfectly round. Luckily, Gary's not here, but he's behind the camera. So he's a <laughs> he little, actually is here. He's a little moot. <laughs> and if it's wrong, then what? We Good. are making crackers, not cookies. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Eats yes. and sleeps, yeah. which is what I hear they're supposed to do. So that's a good thing. She uh, peed all over you <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> was that when you were changing diapers and yeah. didn't go quick she enough? Yeah, she doesn't like to poop in her diaper or pee in her diaper. She likes to wait till it's off. <laughs> and then she likes to. But she she'll give a little bit in there just to like tempt you. <laughs> I like to think that she's already potty training herself. <laughs> How you feeling, Garen? I know Great. it's been tough on you. Yeah, it's been really hard on me. I gotta get up a lot at night and really sleep through some things. And stressful. It's, yeah, it's very really stressful. It's probably been a very hard physical time for yeah, you too. Yeah, physically too. I'm very drained. I can only work a few hours a day. I've got to sit around the rest of it. Take naps. And then I'm always, yeah, <laughs> take naps and eat. Okay, okay, know. okay. I don't All right. know. Well, I don't that's really enough. That's enough. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>